In this video, you're going to learn how to write a cubic function when you're giving the zeros or the x-intercepts or a graph like this. So how exactly do we write a cubic equation? Well, the important thing to remember is that when you're given these x-intercepts like this, you want to understand the connection between the zeros, the x-intercepts, the roots, the solutions. Those all mean the same thing, but what we're interested in is the factors. And what a factor is, it's x minus whatever the zero is or the x-intercept. So in this case, the factor would be x minus negative three, which is x plus three. This factor here, because it crosses at one, is gonna be x minus one. And then because this x-intercept is four, it's gonna be x minus four. Now, the only other thing we need to add to this equation is a coefficient a. And what the a does is it stretches the graph or compresses the graph. And so we're trying to figure out, you know, like, What's a graph that goes through these three x-intercepts, but also goes through a, like a fourth point that's not on the x-axis? And what we do is we plug in those values, uh, x and y, in for x and y here so we can solve for that vertical stretch or vertical shrink. So in this case, x is zero. So let's go ahead and put zero in for each of these x's. And y equals two, so let's put two in for y here. And we're gonna solve for a. So we have two equals a. 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, 0 minus 4 is negative 4. If we multiply that together, we get uh, positive 12a equals 2. And if we divide both sides by 12 to get a by itself, you can see that a is equal to 1 sixth. And all we have to do now is put it back in for a, and that's going to be our cubic equation. Now, if you want to take it one step further, you can multiply all of this out and then also multiply it by the 1 6, and that'll be you know, completely like simplified. But here we can leave it in the factored form, and that'll be a pretty good uh, way to write it. So that's how you would write uh, cubic functions. I hope this video helped you. I'll see you in the next video.